Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So a couple of days ago, on the 16th of September, Microsoft announced the general release of Office 2024 LTSC, which is the long-term support channel of this latest version of Office. Now, Microsoft's focus will obviously still be a lot on Microsoft 365, but I think it goes without saying that they wouldn't want to lose customers who would p prefer to pay for a Office one-time license on Windows 10 and Windows 11. And I think that would apply mainly to your corporations and enterprises. And Microsoft has also mentioned that Office LTSC 2024 will be supported for five years. And here we can see the start date of support was the 18th of September 2024. And the end date will be the 9th of October 2029, giving you five years of support. And this is part of their fixed life cycle policy. And if you don't know what that's all about, the fixed life cycle policy applies to many commercial and some consumer products, according to Microsoft, that are currently available through retail purchase and or volume licensing. Now, what the fixed life cycle policy provides, according to Microsoft, are three things. It provides a a defined support and servicing life cycle timeline at the time of product launch. The second thing it does, it gives you a minimum of five years mainstream support, as we can see in this case. And the third thing the fixed life cycle policy provides is an additional period of extended support for some products. So Office LTSC 2024 will be falling into that category. And Microsoft says that as an on-premises product, it does not include the cloud-based capabilities of Microsoft 365 apps like real-time collaboration, AI-driven automation, or cloud-backed security and compliance capabilities. So I think if you find yourself maybe in a small business, this may be a nice move in the right direction. Just getting rid of all the fluff and giving you what you need at the end of the day, a version of Office you can use in your business or even for some home users would also like to go in that direction. Now, just to have a quick look at the so-called differences between the Microsoft 365 apps and Office LTSC 2024. And by the way, I'll leave this announcement um, linked in the description if you'd like some more info, if you do find yourself interested in Office LTSC 2024. So yeah, we've got 365 apps and Office LTSC 2024. So apps included would be Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, OneDrive, OneNote, Microsoft Access, and that'll be only on Windows only. And then desktop apps, classic apps installed on one PC or Mac. You'll get no mobile apps, no web apps. It won't be eligible for Microsoft 365 Copilot add-on. Uh, you get no cloud storage, as mentioned. You get no feature updates, but only security updates uh, would apply. And there's no shared devices, device-based licensing only, and connectivity requirements, no internet connection re is required, as mentioned. So basically, at the end of the day, with um, Office LTSC 2024, it's a one-time purchase, which means you'll get a locked-in-time, so to speak, version of Office apps, such as Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and so on. And also there are a couple of new features from the Microsoft 365 suite. So that's just a breakdown. Just wanted to post this video because I have been talking about Office 2024 a couple of months ago on the channel. And because Office LTSC 2024 um, has, a, has now rolled out and is starting to roll out, obviously, I just wanted to keep you guys posted in case you would be interested. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.